Hello, today we're going to be going over how to add a PayPal button to your WordPress website. Um, you know, in case you ever want to put just one product on there or a few, you probably wouldn't want to do a full store with this method, but this is a nice simple way to put put anything on there. You can even put a donate button if you're a, a non-profit or you're just trying to raise some money for a cause. All right. So with that, we'll get started. Uh, this is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials. Give you the keys to web presence, put you in the fast lane of success. Learn more at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. We also now offer custom tutorials. So if you have a specific plugin or anything you need to know how to do, or just want a, a, a walkthrough built just like this, uh, anything, just let us know and we can get the get that price they're pretty low cost and they're very valuable because you can pretty much have anybody come in and manage your website and uh, you don't have to worry about the turnover because you still have the videos regardless of who's managing things alright so let's get straight to the point let's say we want to add it to our <laughs> I mean what page would we really add in this in our test site let's just say we're gonna add a PayPal button to our about us page maybe at the bottom first we're going to go to edit page okay go back to visual view all right next thing we need to do is go to paypal.com and i kept the new the window open with our about us page for easy access all right so you're going to want to already have created a um PayPal account. All right. Once you have the PayPal account created, you don't always have to go to go log into it before doing this. So I'm going to keep it simple for now. Go to Product ser Services. Stan website Payment Standard is what we're going to be demonstrating today. Okay. So here we are. Scroll way down. You can do an Add to Cart button if you're going to have multiple products and you want them to be able to add them all without being taken off the site. Uh, a subscribe button for if you're going to be doing anything that would cause them to need a subscription for a certain amount of money per month. Um, my networking group, we have a subscribe button set up so they get automatically billed uh, $20 a month if they want to and then until they cancel it. Um, and then there's also a donate button. Let's click on the buy now for now. Okay. So, and you also have the different types here. Gift certificates, gift certificates is a little strange. That's for if you have a web kind of store and you want to sell a gift certificate or it has some kind of code. It's a little confusing. It's a little bit high level for this tutorial. So for now, even if you want to make a gift certificate that you want to sell and then you you know ship them a card, just make it a buy now button. That makes things simple and it's fine to do. Also, installment plan. We're gonna stick to the stick, stick simple for now. By now, let's say I'm offering one of my work, custom WordPress tutorials. Custom WordPress tutorial. Okay, I'm gonna be try starting those at ninety nine dollars. Okay. Now, say I say I had three different levels of. Of WordPress tutorials, I would take this out, click on the checkbox for add a drop down, and say maybe bronze, and that would be 99. Silver, maybe that's just more in depth, 150, and gold, 200. All right, and I can you can add up to I believe 10 options, so. And you have to have a title for them, packages. Okay, so done. Now you'll see the preview here, all the three different options. Okay, the only difference is if you didn't do that drop down, it would just look like this, like a buy now, but I do have the drop down, so there they are. All right, and that's done. As you scroll down, you'll select your shipping. Um, for something like mine, unless I was going to ship out a DVD or a, uh, a CD with all the files, I would charge shipping. But if you are doing shipping, you determine that here, 10. So you can do flat rate, 
ten dollars tax rate, whatever it is in your city. Just point two five. And now you want to put in the email address here that uh, you set up with your PayPal account with. So we'll just say billing at compete now not biz. Create button. Click on that. All right. Now we're done on PayPal. Just about all you do is you see this bit of uh, junk right here. Click on that. Right click, copy, go back up to edit page, back on the about page. Very important, uh, make sure you hit HTML. All right, go down to the bottom of everything on the page. Okay, that'll be, I just remembered something I should have done, but it'll be good to help demonstrate the point here. So all right, that's all done, it's in HTML. Hit update, X out of that, PayPal, no need it anymore view page, scroll down, all right, here it is, packages, bronze, silver, gold, buy now, we'll bring me right to the PayPal page, okay, I'll compete now, LLC, WordPress tutorial, bronze package, $99, and these people, the person that clicks on that can either pay with their PayPal account, or they can pay with their, if they don't have a PayPal account or don't want to use that, and click on this option and just pay this way securely through uh, paypal.com so let's go back to the website now you'll notice this is what I meant I'd prefer this be centered I would also prefer it has a little bit of a heading on top of it more than just packages because usually the title you determine in PayPal isn't going to show up once you embed it onto the website so what you want to do is go back to edit page and this is when we're going to have to switch back to visual makes things easier but here's the thing if you switch between HTML and visual typically these buttons will get broken um, PayPal is very careful with any kind of code being modified and that will break the button and since switching back and forth between these can sometimes strip a small piece of HTML that will break the button so in order to still be able to switch to visual to make your kind of page edits without screwing up all your PayPal buttons. What I like to do is I'll take the same code again and I'll hit cut and just make sure you keep it on your um, clipboard. If you don't, if you're nerd, if you might have to be doing some copy and pasting once you switch, put it into something like Notepad, save it, and then do it again. Worst case scenario, you'll have to go back and recreate the button if you do not remember to do that. But if, you may, if you're doing a lot of buttons that have 10 options, you really don't want to have to do that. Um, okay, so we'll go back to visual. Scroll down. One tab. Center. Do a heading. Custom. WordPress. Tutorials. HTML. And there's my heading that I just made. I'm just going to tab right under that and hit paste from what I had copied before. There's my form again. I also wanted to center the form. The only way to really center it is by actually centering it in the HTML back, back end. So what you want to do is scroll up in the beginning, tab down, do this little brackets, center, and brackets. scroll all the way to the bottom same thing and uh, so that was the same thing that was above except you added a little slash between update okay refresh this page see how it looks okay so I got my custom tutorial starting at $99 I got my packages they can choose and I got my buy now button all right, and that's a really simple way to add a PayPal button to your website. If you're going to be doing a full-out store, you're probably going to want to use more, a more robust e-commerce plugin. Uh, we'll be demonstrating one of those. We'll probably have to break that one up into multiple multiple tutorials, but we'll be doing that. 
if you need any additional help or have an idea of something you want a custom tutorial made um, you know these are roughly what I'm thinking in terms of pricing for a full website tutorial but if it's just a matter of one plugin then we're very flexible okay so have a great day and we will um, see you again next week